Today's episode is brought to you by Applaudable.net. So a lot of the material in our book is it's not according to the world of, of Bevo and the Bird. It's this is what the athletes have told us they feel work best for them. How does your book actually address the concept of, of goals and, and also time management? Something I noticed my athletes is they're not very good at managing their time. So d- does the book look to address those topics? Yeah, it certainly does. Ch- chapter seven, we talk about uh, the one percenters that count. And ironically, I just want to pause for a moment and give a shout out to Dr. Joe Lucan. Uh, in particular, I spoke to Joe and have worked with Joe at my time at the Townsville Fire uh, in the WNBL. And Joe was actually the person that I spoke to first when I was thinking of putting the concept of the book together uh, before Bevo and I then went on the journey of writing the actual book. And and I know in my dealings with Joe at the Townsville Fire, and, and I've I've been an admirer of her work for, for quite some time. You know, when you look at those areas around what we included in asking athletes, and a lot of the material in our book is it's not according to the world of, of Bevo and the Bird. It's this is what the athletes have told us they feel work best for them. And when we look at the one percenters that count, we identify seven key one percenters that the athletes tell us they think make a defining difference to them for their performance to become the best version of themselves. So I said there were seven of those particular one percenters that count. The top five one percenters in that group are all psychological strategies. And some of those are around mindfulness, areas such as goal setting, determining your future self, obtaining your highest self, now, if we look at those, the one that is the very beginning, so the number one, one percent of that counts that we deal with in the book is actually goal setting. And we have a whole series of steps in there, four key steps for the readers to follow in order to maximise their opportunity to be successful in their pursuit of their goals. And I think a lot of the work that Joe, Dr. Lugan has spoken about previously around just situational reframing. And even if you look at you know, some of the the greats, so particularly, you know, Michael Jordan and, you know, I've taken over 9,000 shots, I've missed over 9,000 shots, all of this sort of stuff, Um, but it's not deemed to be that he hasn't failed. He's being positive in his approach to learn from experiences so when he is placed in those positions, he is in the best position to be successful in whatever that may be. And I know uh, Dr Joe often talks about um, the then and when approach you know, so when I look at, you know, what is it I need to do, okay, so I'm hop, hopping in the car, I put my seatbelt on, you know, I hop in the car, then I put my seatbelt on. So it's like every morning we need to make what we do, these habitual small changes to ensure that we place ourselves in the best position to be successful. But when you look at things around goal setting, that's the num- number one place to start. I actually interviewed Dr. Jay Lukens when she released her book and that if when then strategy i've actually applied to my diet so <laughs> ah, excellent excellent so, so for those that want to check out that interview it's up on people with a passion and and she is an amazing sports psychologist and has helped with the cowboys in the nrl yes. as well as the women's nbl which you mentioned yeah. thanks for joining us for a basketball conversation Feel free to start a conversation of your own with other Oswish super fans by commenting below. And I look forward to sharing our next conversation with you soon. I hope you'll join us again sometime. Catch you later.